Welcome back to Evangelism for God, the channel that speaks about issues the church run away from and expose Satan and his devices and expose anybody that's misleading God's people. If you're new, consider subscribing and coming along for the journey because we tell it like it is on this particular channel. And I just wanted to make a quick video here because one of my subscribers for you, Carla, you p sent me a link and posted something earlier. When I got ready to respond, it disappeared. And I figured the YouTube police must, because of that particular article, uh, it must, the algorithm must have took it away, which is it's just ridiculous, but we're not gonna go there. But on this message, I'm gonna relate to that because it's talking about many of you know this let's go B chant. I'm just gonna say it like that because I don't want the algorithm police to take this video down. The let's go B chant. That's been going on in the churches as of late. I just uh, was reading in John Hagee, the famous pastor there, that they were chanting that in his church. And then I watched something earlier that was really ludicrous, where this fundamentalist Baptist preacher, and I'm going to put it up right here because it was on a Twitter thing. I, you know, they're not going to have it on YouTube because of the stuff he was saying. I don't even know. It's probably down now. So if you can find it, I'll put here it is here the picture so that way you can look them up and see if you can dig and find out what this guy said but he was talking about whores and all of this crazy stuff and then called the vice president that and then went on to talk about uh booty judge uh, Pete booty judge but called him booty uh booty b-o-o-t-y called him booty judge or something you know making mockery and fun uh of them and it just boils down to, you know, it's like, it, it, it's, it's really pitiful. Because I was just thinking, like, this is what the church now has stooped to a whole new level of low. It's already been in decline, as I mentioned, the church and stuff. And people want nothing to do with Christianity. I don't care how much you try to dress it up as of late. But because you got these foolish people out here teaching nonsense, talking nonsense, and just talking crazy. And these radical pastors and preachers and all of these people that surround the nation that are a major turnoff. And this is what we got. And these supposed to be Christians? These supposed to be people that uh, share the love of Christ? The, these are people that are supposed to have the doors open to any and everybody. You know, I mean, there's a problem. There is a big problem. Because now, if you didn't resort it to, it shows you how blind many of these people are. And it shows you how Satan is using false leadership with the, many of these pastors. Many of them. They're not even, they were never called to be a pastor to begin with. They had other ulterior uh, motives, ulterior motives to uh, get in that position. And they're just being used by Satan himself to deceive people, to lead them astray, and to cause, wreak havoc within the Christian community. And it's up to us, those of us that know what the word of God says, those of us that are that that have the faith and and continue to pray and pray that these strongholds are torn down for, and these people that are following this stuff are set free people that are sitting in congregations if somebody is talking like that any believer that has a spirit of god in them and that has discernment and this know that if you hear crazy stuff like that you should get up Get your Bible, get your stuff, and walk right out. Never to return again. If a preacher is becoming political and talking crazy and preaching nonsense, hating on other people, how is people ever supposed to come to the church? How is people ever supposed to come to Christ? See, this has been going on for a long time, and Christ is not pleased. And the block, the domino effect is going to come down on many of them, and I do not want to be in their shoes for all of these people that continue to lie, continue to shame Christ, continue to make his church look disgraceful. Because that's what it is. That preacher, that Texas preacher is a disgrace. 
anybody that's going into a church chanting, let's go be, is a disgrace. Anybody that's teaching that Trump is coming back this year or even next year is a disgrace. Anyone that's set up bashing people politically for what they stood for within a church and bringing it within a church teaching is a disgrace. It's a disgrace and it needs to be called out. Now, whether some people like, they don't like to hear that, you know, and some people, they think that they come to my channel and they'll think that, oh, maybe he's fine. But then the minute I bring up Trump or the minute I bring up political stuff or bring up one of these false prophets that I call out, oh, then they unsubscribe and disappear. That's fine because I'm not here to be popular. I'm here to tell the truth. So I thank you for those of you that continue to stand with truth with me. We'll continue to stand on it. We'll continue to call out anybody that's misleading God's people. We'll continue to expose Satan and any of his trickery. Like I said, if you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, and leave any comments down below. If you need to email me, I'll try to get back as soon as possible as well. Maurice Braxton, Evangelism for God is the channel. Until the next video, take care. God bless.